How is it going now out today, everybody? This is Jordan Jones on my playthrough of Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Nintendo Wii. If you guys give me a huge favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really, really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell right beside it be notified every time my new videos come out. <laughs> and let me know down in the comments below for questions of the video. Do you like lava levels and video games? Yes or no? If yes, which one's your favorite and least favorite? Me, I absolutely love lava-based levels and games. They're awesome. We're going to go on to 8-1 Furious Fire because we are in the lava world now. Like what World 8 usually is in most platformers. And I love World 8. I really love the music here. This is one of the most beautiful worlds in this game. Okay, so you can ground pound here. Okay, so you gotta be careful here. These fireballs, in order to get rid of them, just blow. Just blow, get rid of them, pretty much. World 8 is pretty easy if you know what you're doing, but so World 8's not really that hard. So you gotta blow that away. Here's where you find a puzzle piece. Look at the background. I love World 8. World 8 is one of the best worlds in this game. Okay, so watch out for these waves of fire. Just watch out for them. Here's where you get your first con letter. Pretty easy, so I gotta do. Not too difficult or anything. Okay, so just dodge. Oh, no heart? No heart? Okay, I'm just gonna play it safe, not going for any con letters or puzzle pieces, just just mainly beating the world. This world's really fun, huh? Oh I hate I really hate those guys. Those guys are really annoying. Okay, lava is rising, so Okay, so you gotta be careful about these platforms when you step on them. They, they sink. Okay, we lost Diddy, sadly. It would really make it a lot easier if I had Diddy. But it is what it is. Not everything can go perfect. Okay, so we gotta dodge that. Okay, here's a secret area we can get to. Simple. Okay, here. This playthrough is almost over. Time has went by fast. Here we go. Like, World 8's not really that hard, it's just, it's just more, it's just more you have to watch. We got Diddy back! Yes! Okay, so dodge that, and then hang on to that. And then this will take you to a seat, to a puzzle piece, or we can get another puzzle piece. Excuse me. 
Okay, so let's do that. Give me a heart. I want a heart. Oh, I really hate. Okay, bump that. Do that. Wow. We did good! We did pretty good for the first level of World 8. Took six minutes. Did I even die once? I don't think so. I came close to dying, but I don't think I even died once. That's good. 8-2, Hot Rocket. Here we go. This Rocket Barrel level right here is not too difficult if you know what to do, but if you don't know what you're doing, it can be a little bit tricky, but it's still not too bad. Okay, so I want to get up there. How do I get up there? How to get that secret area up there? I need to figure this out myself. Almost made it up there. Okay, so let's get some momentum and then roll jump. There we go. We lost Diddy. That's okay. We don't need Diddy for this level. It's a rocket barrel level. Okay. We don't need to worry about that secret area no more. <sighs> Come on. Okay, so we gotta watch out for those fire right there, so. Now we need to hop in the rocket barrel, and here we go. Don't be afraid or anything like that. Just, just be careful right here, so. Okay, so there's gonna be fire coming from behind, so you gotta watch out for that. Oh. I can't believe I died. While trying to explain it. That's fine. Okay, so you just gotta watch out for what's coming from behind. Learn these patterns right here and it shouldn't be too bad for difficulty. Okay, so watch for what's coming from... Here's a puzzle piece you can get. And the best way to control the rocket barrel, like I've said several times, is just to tap the A button. But you gotta be really careful. Sometimes I feel like it's luck to beat the, the rocket barrel levels. I don't know why. There is no RNG to the rocket barrel. Sometimes I feel like it's luck. And I know it's not, but... Okay, so... We gotta do this. Okay. Why am I having the hardest time on this level of all levels? I don't know. This level's really not even that hard. Why am I having a hard time with it? I don't even know. We gotta keep it steady, keep it steady, but... Don't overdo it, don't overdo it, just... Are you serious? I feel like it's luck sometimes to control the rocket barrel. I don't know why. What is wrong with the rocket barrel? Why... Oh, 
Are you kidding me? I'm doing the correct way to control the rocket barrel. I'm only tapping the A button. I am not pressing it. I am not... I'm barely even pressing the A button. I'm doing the correct thing. Last time with World 7's rocket barrel level, I did it really good. Okay, so... This ain't too hard. Um, you just gotta, um, be careful with how you control it. Okay. Are you kidding me? Are you even serious? I barely touched it by a pixel. Thankfully, this is the last rocket barrel level in the game. Outside of the Tiki Tom Terror, which that rocket barrel section we know is the easy rocket barrel section. But thankfully, this is the last one that we have to worry about of this kind of rocket barrel where you tap the A button to go up and then don't, and then let go to go down. Because I hate these kind of rocket barrel levels. And I hate the fact that if you get hit even once, you're gonna die. And I feel like it's luck. I feel like these levels are luck. I feel like it's luck. I feel like I have to have luck to beat these levels. I don't know why. There is no RNG in this level. I don't know why it feels that way. That's luck. I guess because there's bad physics with the rocket barrel and then you're... It is possible to bump you up to 100% consistency for beating these levels. It just takes a lot of practice. Okay, hopefully I can... Hopefully I can learn how to beat this level more consistently. I'm having bad luck all of a sudden. I'm not even, my gameplay, I want my gameplay to be as good as it can. But at the same time, it's luck on the rocket barrel level where I always luck. My game, I'm not even doing bad. Okay. I told you this wasn't even that hard, but it's turned out to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. That sucks. Stop! See, I barely, by a pixel, touched it. That can happen. You have a really tight space right there to work with. And that sucks. That sucks. <sighs> I don't want this video to be too long. I know I can do it. I'm pretty confident. But at the same time, I don't want to struggle. I'd rather beat it than struggle. Okay. I think we're past... What?! We was past the most difficult part of the level, and I died. Come on, and, there, and we didn't even go to a checkpoint. Okay, we got this, we got this. Concentrating. Sorry for not much commentary. I'm just trying to concentrate because I don't want to die. And it's really easy to die here. We made it to our first checkpoint. <sighs> I told you this wasn't that difficult, but I struggled a little bit, but it wasn't that hard. But this really isn't that difficult, I told you. These rocket barrel levels are pretty easy in this game. It's just the fact that the hardest part about them is that you can't get hit even once. <laughs> Otherwise, they're very easy. See, even right there. Me talking distracts me from the game. And I was still looking at the TV at the same time I was talking, trying to concentrate and commentate at the same time. And that's almost impossible to do. It's really hard to do while I'm talking. <sighs> 
I want to get down to this level. So strategy is pretty basic. It's pretty straightforward. You just gotta watch out for what's going on and just do this. Okay, this really isn't that difficult. I told you. Oh! Oh my gosh! This is pretty easy, I told you. Very easy, I told you. Easy level, like I said. Easy peasy limit squeezy, that's all I gotta do. I don't know why it turned out to be a lot more difficult than I anticipated it to be. Okay. We're not doing 8-3. I have never beaten 8-3 in this game. So we're not going to do 8-3 because I've never beaten that level. We're just going to do... Um, here's where 8-3 would be at. That's like the hardest level in the main story mode of the game. We're going to go to... Um, let's buy some extra lives. And let's buy the key. Okay, we're done with 8-2. Thank goodness. It wasn't that difficult, but it was annoying. Let's do 8-4. We're skipping 8-3 because I don't like 8-3. The other levels in World 8 are really fun. 8-4, Smoky Peak. Excuse me, this level is really easy. It might not be the easiest silhouette ever, but it is easy. Let's get Diddy. This level's really not hard at all. It's a silhouette level, and these are my favorite. These are my favorite levels in this game, the silhouette levels are. Here you get Rambi. I love the silhouette levels in this game. They're awesome. I love volcano levels. Here's some volcano slash lava levels I really like. I love the Melty Molten Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy. And here's another one I really like. The Freeze Flame Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy. Here's another one I really like. I also really like uh, Lethal Lava Land from Super Mario 64. And here's another one I like. Another one I really like is the Luncheon Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. Another one I really like is Mount Magma out from Bowser's Fury. There's a lot of them I really like. I already told you, this level is easy peasy. World 8 is a pretty easy world overall, except with a few exceptions, but because World 8 is not really that hard of a world. Okay, watch out. If you touch that fire right there, it's instant death. So watch out. The fire comes from the downward volcanoes, while well, I like to call them the volcanoes in the air. If you touch it, it is instant death, so watch out. But it's pretty easy to avoid. You just have to know the timing. Ah, see, I demonstrated it right there almost. It's instant death if you, um... Rainbee's gonna make this even easier than using Diggy Kong. Okay, so we just gotta watch out for the volcano. Okay. I don't know why I'm even dying. Why well, I don't even know why I died twice on this level. This level's not hard at all. This level's very easy, actually. It's like the easiest level in World 8. Okay, we dodged it. So if you touch these. Falling down lava is instant death. So a hit from that is death, so watch out. Oh. Oh. 
this is the speed run part where I love this is the part of the level I love to speed through. And it's really easy to this is one of the easiest levels to speed run in this game. Even casually it's still pretty easy. Oh, we did it. Sadly we don't have Diddy right now, but that's uh, alright. We'll get him back eventually. I can't believe it took 20 minutes to beat only three levels. That's insane. Bobbing, bobbing basalt. Here we go, bobbing basalt. I think that's how you pronounce it. <sighs> Forgive me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Nice, first puzzle piece. Like I said, I'm not going for every single comp letter or puzzle piece. So you gotta touch them. These platforms right there that come out of the lava, if they're glowing, do not stand on them. Because if you do, it, it'll hurt. So stand on them only at the appropriate times. Because if they're glowing and you stand on them, it'll hurt. So you've got to be really careful around here. This level's pretty easy. you just got to be careful. We've got another puzzle piece. That's good. That's good. That's good. We're able to get two puzzle pieces right off the bat. Here, just roll jump if you don't have Diddy. Or if you do have Diddy, just use Diddy's hover. Okay, watch out for these fireballs here. So just watch out. But don't worry, they're not hard to avoid. They move in an easy pattern, so you can you might get hit one time, but totally okay if that happens, no big deal. Okay, so here what we're gonna do is um The lava is rising here. Or well, rather the lava's rising or this is shrinking it one way or the other, but we just gotta do this and now we gotta avoid everything. Now we gotta time the jump right here to get here. Watch out for these bats here. We had those bats back in World 4, I think. So, why do they not give you DD in this level? I guess because I get the level is easy, because I know the level is easy. Because I know it is a pretty easy level, but I don't understand why they did not give me Diddy yet. Thank goodness we're going to get Diddy here. But this level is easy anyway. I struggled a little bit with the previous level, but the previous level wasn't even hard at all. Okay, let's go to the secret area. Excuse me. This is a unique secret area. I like this secret area. Where you don't have, where you have platforms moving down instead of moving sideways. That that's weird, but it's fine. Okay, we did it. Yes! We got ourselves a puzzle piece from it. I wish this game had more silhouette levels. That would be awesome. Ugh. Okay, this right here is... So, if you're on those platforms that sink when you step on them, jump off them quickly and go on to the next platform. Okay, so right here, just... If you blow on this, I'm going to show what happens. Um... I'll keep it surprised what happens if you keep blowing on that. I guess nothing. I thought something cool would happen before you get to see it. Okay, this right here. Be careful. As soon as they go down, just roll. Roll. Okay.
Okay, so we're going to be using these platforms to time jumps. Oh, oh my gosh, why did you slip, Donkey Kong? We got Diddy back, thank goodness. Yeah, we got crushed. Thankfully, getting crushed right there is nothing like the thwomps from the Super Mario Galaxy games. It's not instant death, and that's good. Oh, we lost Diddy! We lost Diddy! That part, I'm almost guaranteed to get hit every time of that part. So, that part, pretty much just take the hit and go on. It's the, only, it's the easiest way to do that part. Found four puzzle pieces. Uh, I was think I couldn't even think about what I was supposed to do next. Uh. Okay. Okay. I did not even get hit once right there. Thank goodness. Here we go. Okay, here's the part where we have to be extremely careful. Why did that get me? I didn't even see it coming. Oh! We have Diddy, thank goodness. But we have to be careful not to get hit, because we'll lose Diddy if we do. And this will be harder with regular Donkey Kong. But with Diddy, it's not hard at all. Okay, don't let that crush you. Just be careful. There we go. And there we go. We have D now. Thank goodness. It took a couple tries, but it wasn't that hard. Okay, we did it. We did it. Two more levels left in this video because I'm saving the final boss for its own video. Moving Melters. Very interested to see what this level's about. I do, I somewhat remember what it's about, but somewhat. Uh, the classic World 8 music, here we go. Come on, jeez, what is wrong with me right now? Okay, we have one of these. Okay, I'm going to time this just right. We did. Ugh. Gotta be careful here. Watch out for the fireballs. And when you stay on these platforms, you really gotta be careful. I barely touched it by pixel. Those things can really be problematic quickly. But that fire is poisonous. So be careful about that. Okay. What's up here? Oh, 
check. A secret area? I didn't know there was a secret area here. This is cool. I love these things. Sadly, no puzzle piece. Okay, here's the part where we have to use these platforms to do that. Oh, we lost Diddy. We lost Diddy. Uh, I don't like this level. This level is probably the worst level in World 8 outside of the 8-3. I will never touch 8-3 in my life. No, that level is horrible. That level is horrible. Oh. It's going to be a lot harder to do without the... Oh, I'm just struggling real hard with it. There's like a lot of fireballs, and this is gonna be really hard to do with Donkey Kong. This can be problematic quickly. This is gonna be really problematic without, without Diddy. I ducked! And my head barely touched it! <sighs> we gotta get it done. <sighs> okay. Hopefully I can be more consistent this time at not getting hit. That's what I need to work on in this game, is not getting hit as much. Because uh, when you get hit, you can die easily. What? What the heck? Okay. Whatever. I'm not sure what 8-7 is going to be like, but... Just because the video is already long enough as it is... We're going to buy some banana juice before we do 8-7. Okay, we're going to go to um, Cranky Shop to buy the extra heart. And we're going to buy banana juice. Okay, here we go. I've never used banana juice in this game. I've used it in Tropical Furries, but I've never used it in this game. Inventory, so... Can you use both at once? We'll only use a banana juice, I guess. Alright, we have banana juice now. Because I don't want to die.
We can take 10 hits before we lose the banana juice. That's good. We definitely need it for this level. This is the hardest level in World League. Actually, it's not as hard as 8 dash. You know what I'm going to do? I'm sick of it. I don't want to struggle. Just to guarantee myself not to struggle, I'm going to have to get Diddy off screen. Off screen, I'm going to go get Diddy. I will cut and I will see you guys when I have Diddy and banana juice. Alright, I am back. We're going to equip our banana juice. Because we need our banana juice. We equipped our banana juice. Now we have banana juice to make this easier. Um, this level... Um, has some really precise timing that, that is required. You have to know the patterns of these... Um, of these platforms here. These platforms are really small window to time the jumps. Um, but if you can time it right, I don't think this will be that hard with the banana juice. World eight's not even that hard of the world overall. It's just it's just mainly this level. We have Didi and we have banana juice, so this should be easy with, with Didi and banana juice. This level, I don't like, I have to say this. <laughs> Still not too hard if you know how to do it, but... Okay. Whenever you see a platform appear, jump on it. All there is to it. Pretty simple. Easier said than done. I'm glad I have banana juice. This is gonna make it super easy with the banana juice. Wow, this ain't even hard with the banana juice. Especially not once you get past that first part. But even that first part's not that bad. The first part, you just have to pay attention to what you're doing. As long as you're paying attention, it's not that hard. It's just... I'm glad we got to use banana juice. And I got to show it to you. I could have probably beat this without the banana juice, but... I could have, because I am good at this game. I just thought I would use it, because I don't want to die that It makes you invincible for 10 hits, pretty much. It's pretty helpful. There we go. That's one of the harder jumps to make. It's a little tricky to make. I mean, it's not extremely difficult to make, but it's a little hard to make at times. I was gonna try not to die even once. But we got bad luck all of a sudden and we died. Okay. I don't think this will be that hard. I'm just gonna play extra careful and extra safe. Okay. Okay. Watch the pattern, 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 and there we go. Not too difficult at all. Not too, not too hard. This ain't too hard, it's just you just gotta know what you're doing. That banana juice is helpful if you need it. It's not, you don't, 
if you're having trouble, feel free to use banana juice. Because it's going to make it a heck of a lot easier. So here, I usually like to um, wait because a platform will eventually appear. <sighs> I'm tired of it. I hate this level. This level is the worst level in the game. But we have to do it because this. And I, um, I did, I didn't realize the lava moved to that fast right there. get good at it. I am not very good at this level. I told you. This is the one level in the world I, I can never... They don't even give you a heart, even if you mess up. That's stupid. This is just the one level in the game I can never really get good at, no matter how much I practice. I practiced it a lot, and I still couldn't get good at it. Play it safe. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm trying to be a bit more careful. Excuse me, we're going to have a part later on in the level where the lava's going to rise really, really fast. Mm -hmm. And that's the worst part. It's right here. Nope, not yet. We have to do this. No! If you died, I wish you was able to die and still keep banana juice. That would be helpful. Uh, but this level is frustrating. I just don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's not fun. This is like my least favorite level in the game. I have to do it in order to unlock it. I did not mean to jump right there. I made a very small mistake and I got hit. That's how stingy this yeah. That's how stingy this level is. You can make a very the smallest mistake you could possibly make and still get hit. It's like it's that stingy. Because you're not supposed to make many mistakes in this level. Hey, this level sucks. Donkey Kong, you're slippery. Okay, that was easy. Come on. This is the part I hate. Cause you can get crushed! need help. I want to do it by myself. This is going to be hard to do. <sighs> we flew through World 8 otherwise, except for this level. This level has been butthole. Even with banana juice, it was hard. I know. I don't even know why it would be this difficult, even, even with something that would make it easier. Cause it's supposed to help. It's supposed to make things easier. <sighs> okay, trying to be more, a bit more careful. We can do it. Okay. I don't like this. I don't like this. Uh, 
I was sick and... Yeah. I won't ever be doing a playthrough of this game again on my channel. I'm pretty much done with doing this game on my channel after this playthrough is over. Okay. Okay. Donkey Kong, you're slippery. Okay, you have to be really precise with your jumps right there. So, we just gotta do this, gotta do that. It's not that hard. So, you gotta wait for the right timing and then do that. Okay. Okay. If you mess up, you'll die! make any mistakes in this level. And that sucks. <sighs> Cause I make mistakes all the time. That's why I'll never get good at this level. Cause it requires you to go through without making a single mistake. You can't make a single mistake. You have to be perfect in order to beat this level. I'm tired of it. I want to beat it and move on. I know the final boss is not even nearly as difficult. I have a lot of trouble with this. I can't, and I have no trouble with the final boss in the game. Okay. Here's where it does get a little bit tricky right here. The lava rises quickly, so you have to be quick. The lava rises quick. It rises quickly, so you have to be quick. See? No! I even timed it precisely, and I did not make it. Why is that? I guess the jump has to be frame perfect or something. Ah. <sighs> I am frustrated. I am frustrated because of how difficult this level is. This is such a stressful level. That's even worse than what we had in World 6. Okay. This is too hard! This is too hard to be fun! It's not even fun! I am not having fun with this level. This level is hard. It is hard. It is tedious. It is bullcrap. It is a pain in the butt. No matter how much you practice, it will never become easy. That's just how difficult it is. It is not even made to be easy. You'd be like, what the heck? I can't beat this level very consistently. <sighs> this game's even harder than Punch Out. It's even harder than Mike Tyson's Punch Out, I know. And Mike Tyson's Punch Out's pretty hard in the game. But not as difficult as this game. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Here, just rapidly mash the A button. That's all you gotta do. Not too hard. Ah! I am done with this level.
for the rest of my life. That level, uh, even with the banana juice, it was hard. I needed luck to beat that level. All right, next time we'll be doing Tiki Tong Tear. All right, guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified every time I make new videos. Have a nice day, and have a peace out.